Hi, Taurus. How are you going? Thank you for joining me. You're here with Bella Katrina and the Angels. I'm going to do a mini shabam because a shabam is what I offer because I bring in Reiki, guidance, healing, messages. Um, when you book your private reading with me and healing, we do it on Skype. You get a free upgrade on your first one. Please have a look at that if you haven't already. So I'm going to bring Taurus as the collective. A mini shabam from Bella. So I'm just going to ask for a big deep breath, feet flat, palms up, just getting rid of some that heavy load on the back of your neck, which is putting your back out, spine out, and causing you to not be able to think straight. So with a big deep breath coming from your feet to the top of your head and exhaling out, ah, letting all energy drop down into your pelvis and out through your feet. And we ask the angels, guides, and masters to come in to bring healing messages and love to all watching father god please surround us with your firewall of protection help open our hearts to receiving your son jesus and fill us with the holy spirit so that we may know your love and expand your love into the cosmos into the galaxy and into the universe and beyond i don't know why i'm being like that with taurus because you're so <laughs> grounded and serious okay so we've got lucy cavendish here Right, so it might be time to lighten up, Taurus. Get rid of that load off the back of your neck. Take the load off, right? Sit down, chill out. Right, really got to chill out. Get it now. So we're looking at a snapshot reading for the vibration of love, what's coming up for love, what's coming towards you in love, what's happening with love. And then we're going to do a divine life purpose with the angels and we've got romance angels and then we're going to see which archangel is going to bring your new moon wishes and your prayers that you've been telling God about that you want and you've been asking for them in his son's name so that's the most powerful way to ask for something so I just did a little bit of a knock and a shuffle for you i hope you've been well thank you for supporting my channel and just know that you're in a high manifestation energy and that's when a lot of genetic coding stuff is being released so please do all of my healings that i put up and subscribe if you haven't already and share with anyone you think that would benefit because it's reiki energy healing it's a distance healing i'm proficient at it and that's why it works really well doing attunements and um psychic shabams and healings on Skype anywhere in the world looking at Taurus coming up whoa so oh, I'm gonna keep going because of that card two three yeah yeah so you're going to have to reassess because something's coming like a wild card like a pregnancy or like a lease up or like um, something around it's showing me that some of you have real estate issues or boundary issues or land or there's some lease that you have to pay or you have to pay for the fence or like there's something like that that you have to work on with somebody else. Just know that you haven't got the solution just yet. It hasn't formed completely, so don't get too upset. Stay open and it will land in your lap easily so let's have a look at this as love coming towards you well here it comes new love coming in new love energy so a good time to get your soulmate reiki i am offering it half price mainly for air signs so i'm extending it to you because there's still um spots available but i'm only taking a certain number and then it's unavailable and it's on video on demand if you are looking for raising the vibration in your heart clearing any karmic contracts or any karmic substance or karmics and um or then bringing in a new soul right for love and for romance so this works very well for twin flames as well to clear the karmic substance to um open the pathway for your twin heart to enter so soulmate reiki is an attunement and a workshop finding out your needs deal breakers etc really really good and a powerful time to do it new moon and the most unbelievable alignment in the 12 libraries and the planets and the galaxy at the moment to receive unconditional love so they're also showing me that if you're not wanting to be pregnant right be careful this is a warning right because you're very fertile at the moment both men and women fertile can't do a one night stand because it's like hello 
it's up in the future here, so you're worried about this relationship, right? If you go back to this relationship that you don't like and then you do the naughty, right? It could have a really negative effect on you. Then you're going to depression. This, these two together are depression and then you've got this one underneath. So this is a low energy Taurus. You're still in this low vibration here, right? Because your opportunity hasn't been formed yet. It hasn't formulated yet. Even though you feel the fire and excitement within you that you know there's something better. Yeah, there's a pull of the future here because your codes are awakening. So you feel like energized, right? You feel enthusiastic, but then you wake up and it's like, oh, I'm still sitting here in this pile of, you know, the past, irky, murky water, dirty cave, worried about what will everybody think of me? If I get a divorce, the whole family will disown me or whatever you're thinking, right? If I leave the job, it's like, then I'm going to think I'm not a success. It's all about what you're perceiving yourself because who cares what anybody else thinks of you? It's none of your business. So if people go, you know what I think of you? It's like, no, no, I don't because really it's none of my business. Now, I did that once with neighbours talking and she's like, you know what I think? I was like, it's really none of my business what you think about me. So I'm going to go. <laughs> That's funny. It's like, you know, some people you can do that with, some people you can't. But it was like, no, nah, I don't really want to know because it's none of my business. All I need to know is like what I'm doing. This is like they're asking you, Taurus, what are you doing? You're, you don't seem to be in this equation Right, you were here, got your enthusiasm, excitement, had a little bit of a window open, like a cool breeze coming in, some respite, a vision, and a clear energy, and then you went back to this. So you're sitting in this at the moment. This is irky, murky water, dirty cave, going within, right, and then just worrying. When you do this, this fear here that you're creating actually creates something negative. I'm going to tell you a story just quickly about I heard... You know about people that worry about being online and he said, I, I, this woman was telling me about her son and he did lots of business, you know, and everything, but he wouldn't set up his PIN number online for his account. You know how you have an app on the phone banking? And he was like, no, I'm not going to set that up because, you know, then people can get into your account and take your money. So he's like really paranoid about it, right? Paranoid about it. They're going to take my money. So what happened is he didn't do the app. Right? So because he hadn't done the app, that's how they could hack in. Because then they just set up a new account. They had the new PIN number. They didn't have a PIN number before. If he had set it up before, they wouldn't have been able to do it. But because he hadn't set it up, they set it up. There's an interface. Put the PIN number in and took all his money out. So he created his fear. This is a warning here. Do not do this. Because... Um, it's like your opportune time and moment has not arrived yet. You're still in the cave a bit dirty, a bit worried, a bit like focused on um, just the past and what you don't have. And, you know, this, this seems to be like, seems to be, okay, there are a few of you that have had one one night stand here because this is when you're hot and you're out and now you're worried. This is like feeling sick, morning sickness. And then you find out, oh, you're pregnant. And here you are pregnant. And you're like, oh, what was his name again? Hello. Where did I meet him? What pub was that at? It's like, you can't do that. Right, because... So it's just a warning for you. Know that money will always be okay with you. You'll always have enough money. Please stop focusing on the money because the money is the effect. You've got to go to the cause. What causes money? Love. So you've got to fill up with the vibration of love. And if you give out love, then it shows back up in your bank account as money. Now there is, if you're not in this, like haven't done this naughtiness here, <laughs> um, that means being with somebody that you don't even know sexually, then love opens for you. There is a doorway here. So it reopens as you get rid of all this. Um, this is like, now you realize that you're a good catch. And it's not immediate, but it's, it's a fertilized seed planted in the ground, right? That has a few challenges and problems around it. So it takes a while to burst through and then here it bursts through. So I, this is looking at one week from when you watch this video. You've got to get out of this. You've got to be ready for this new energy to come through because it hasn't appeared yet. The love of your life has not appeared just yet fully. 
but it is manifesting. There's a seed being planted. Watch out, it's not a real one if you don't want to be a mummy or a daddy, right? Because then there's too many challenges and problems and it's too stressful. Just be very, very careful. This could also be like a flip, going from not knowing what you're going to do with this relationship to bang, together, living together in a week, okay? So when it all lines up, it all lines up. And I've seen it happen firsthand with God, right? I was like, how would you get this guy together and da, da, da. And then I saw it. It's like Cupid came in, timeline um, exchange, like timeline shift. I saw it. Cupid shot him in the heart. The Holy Spirit came and, and put holy fire. I don't know what was going on there. And then there was, I just saw this golden light come down. It might have been the divine love template from Jesus. And then the shift, I saw the trains going along and I thought, oh, I just see a little man jumping the train. No, the whole carriage lifted up and changed on the rail. And then there was another thing that occurred and I went, oh, okay. Well, that's how God could, fin you know, fix things in 10 minutes. Like he can change things, but you're sitting in the soup of the past and worrying about what other people think and it's fine because it's about to shift. You're going into a new cycle in the next week and it looks really good. Something is going to be gestating here to give birth to new life. So it looks really amazing actually. Oh, is it for you? You're a concern because you're not listening to your intuition, right? You're not accepting any help and you're not even looking after yourself. This is due diligence. God gave you a body. It's not really your body. You're here on behalf of God. You're God. So when you don't treat yourself well like this, something's, something's out of alignment here. A lot of you may be stressed. Some of you are on medication. It's depression. It's not going to last much longer. You do need to eat healthy. Don't worry about sleep. If you don't need to sleep, don't sleep. If you can't sleep, get up. Don't worry about not sleeping, they're saying. Don't get up and not sleep and worry about money, they're saying. Here is also accept some help. There's a miracle coming in, but you at this time cannot even see it. Plus, you do need to eat your veggies. Eat your veggies and do a big paw, paw, poo. Paw, paw, poo. <laughs> you know, eat paw, paw need to get there's something here might be your bowels your colon needs cleansing i don't suggest colonic irrigation but the palladians say most of us are full of <laughs> so where are we at we're going to look at the divine life purpose by doreen virtue for taurus and how that is affecting your love vibration so we're breathing in rose quartz, we're opening up, we're activating our soulmate Reiki symbol. If you've already done soulmate Reiki with me, me and my soulmate together in love and protection, receive it. Me and my soulmate together in love and protection. And you send it out. We do that with a soul call and a serious Reiki activation. Very exciting. Congratulations to those who've done it. This is it. It's your worry habit, Taurus. You're breaking the worry habit. So from now on, it's illegal for you to worry. It's almost like I want to charge you. Every time you have a worry thought, you have to put a dollar in the jar, right? You'd be soon in Hawaii on holiday because of how much worry you have. This is a habit that you have to break. Now, instead of worrying, the angels are saying, ask for guidance. I'm just going to do one more here. Oh, flowers. Flowers. So that's the other thing is rose oil is the vibration of unconditional love. I also get lavender and putting it on your pillow, putting it in a little spray thing, you know, or going to the health food store and they do have beautiful ones by, um, there's a lovely range, you know, and they have those spritzes, They're more like spritzes really, that um, you spray around your auric field. So your aura is the energy around your body. It's about seven layers. And it actually is formed from the energy that is in your chakras, which are your seven main energy centers. Yes, I believe in chakras. And that's how I teach my Reiki, because we actually create the pillar of light. So this is saying this card serves as a reminder that you can ask your angels for help and guidance in any area of your life, including your career and finances. Because it's embarrassing to ask people for help around money when 
So go to your angels, Archangel Michael. You most likely drew this card because you've been worrying or complaining lately. The angels teach that worry never improves any situation and may actually worsen things through the law of attraction. Oh, fortunately, you can turn any worry into a prayer. That's good. So any worry into a prayer. Fortunately, you can turn any worry into a prayer. That is, change a low energy worry, for instance, I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills, into a positive prayer, such as, thank you, God, for helping provide my family's needs. Or please guide my steps so that I make money in meaningful ways. Prayers allow God and the angels to intervene in your free will choices. First, they'll boost your mood and faith which will help you feel happier and more peaceful. Then they'll lend you aid in miraculous ways, such as giving you intuitive urges to take certain action steps. Together, you and heaven co-create the answers to your prayers. Please always remember that your creator wants you to be happy, healthy and safe, just as any loving parent does. You, like everyone, deserve to be helped so that you have the time and energy to devote to your life purpose. Instead of worrying, ask for guidance. So when I was first on the path about 10 years ago, or 2012, I started writing ASK everywhere because I would forget to ask. And then one day I was cleaning my teeth going, ASK, must be Andrew, who, what's ASK? That's how bad I am at it. It's like now I've got it down. But if you have to write it on your hand, write it on your hand. If you have to write it on a card that goes in the car, near the kettle, near your toothbrush, under your pillow, beside your bed, ask, ask, ask. I got to the stage where I put it in lipstick on the mirror and I was still thinking, what is that? This card also signifies your special connection to flowers whose fragrance, colour and beauty provide healing blessings. As you grow, admire, photograph and work with blossoms, so too does your connection with the divine blossom. Your affinity for flowers is just beginning and spending time among them will help every part of your life bloom. You may literally work with flowers, for example, as a gardener, florist or flower essence healer. Or it may be that you're spending personal time with these lovely features of the natural world. Sparks your creativity and ideas about your new career path. So whether your relationship with flowers is destined to become a career or an avocation, spend time with them today. Walk through a flower shop and notice which colour bloom you're drawn to. This flower holds healing properties that you need right now. If possible, take it home and spend time absorbing its colour and fragrance. Trust the flower's wisdom and power to help you upon your life purpose pathway. So buying your flowers regularly, going out and, and asking the fairies which ones you can chop down and bringing them into your home, right? And allowing nature and the angels to give you some much needed comfort. When you feel good, invite Jesus in. Seek him until you find him because he's right next to you. And he helps open your heart to unconditional love. Right, so that means you have to forgive anyone who's betrayed you and you do it with Jesus and you do it in his name. And then you ask him, is there anything that I need to reveal to you? Show me, show me that I feel guilty for. And go into your heart and ask it. What do you have, hold shame about? Is there anything? Because sometimes things happen when we're kids and like we have shame about them, but we could never have done anything else. You know, you're just a little child. And you carry shame from adults. So I asked Jesus, he helped me, and it was euphoric. Like, it was euphoric. It's really strange. This is your main romance card message for Taurus. Wow, you're heavy thinkers this month, aren't you? This is heavy. Right? Your crown is with this guy, right, in the kingdom. That's it. That's it. Simple, easy, simple. 
It's not anything to do with doctrines, really. Right? So it's like religion and the truth. Different vibrations, really. Of course, you can have a religious practice, but you're looking at spirit. You want to get your, you want to get your crown in the kingdom from your saviour. So there may be parents, different beliefs, different cultural backgrounds. Um, there, there's like a, there might be divorce or children or the way of bringing up children, belief systems, right? Your co codes are igniting, Taurus, right? You're flowering like a blossom, like the flower itself. You're opening like a flower. You've got to talk to angels because they're real. I started asking Archangel Michael, can I have three signs that you're with me by midday, please? Well, could I have three signs that they were signs? because I'd get them and then he'd say, you know what's really good is when you ask, don't ask for the particular sign, but ask. And then um, when you get it, just go, thank you, thank you, thank you, got it. It's really encouraging to the angels, you know. So if you can't receive guidance, you're not in the present moment. If you can't create and you're, you're not manifesting very well, then you're not in the present moment. And if you need healing and mental body release, you've got to get present. That's why I'm offering you the Reiki taste test. Have a look because it might change your life. And wouldn't that be worth it? And bring in somebody who is aligned with your belief system here. Your belief system. Getting to the kingdom. Your life mission. Right, of talking to angels and helping people connect to get their crown. He's got a crown for you, he's saying. So tell me, comment below, any of you who are who know and talk to Jesus, ask him about the crown. <laughs> the crown. He's saying he's giving us all the crown. So as I said, I haven't come from a religious um, doctrine or of any kind. I've actually experienced this complete experiential through my genetic my genetics through my reiki so this is clearing out your ear chakras because this is how jesus will talk to your loudest clear at the moment is your clear audience which is clear hearing so this is your two chakras that are above your eyebrows they're maroon colored balls of light and you have archangel zadkiel notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people so my primary clear is clear audience means you're a natural channeler as well so you can write and also be, be really observant with what you hear because sometimes it can be an overheard conversation. It can be um, a memory of a thought of what somebody said. You can also um, hear it on the radio or the TV or um, it just in your mind as though, you know, something just comes in or you read something and you hear yourself saying it. You're hearing true divine guidance very clearly it comes in the form of repetitive messages urging you to improve a situation for yourself or others pay close attention to everything you hear in your mind and with your physical ears divine directives are repetitious loving and to the point ask me for help if you need clarification on anything you hear so it's like you know what does that mean zadkiel Right, get this dialogue going. Keep talking to the angels, then sit and listen and then ask. I give you permission and ask. Can I have three big signs if this is for me or if there's anything I need to know about this? Thank you, thank you. Could I have them by and give a deadline? It's really good to give a deadline because then you're not going crazy thinking, did I get a sign? Was that a sign? What time does the sign come? Does it come today? And normally do it within three days from death to resurrection. Sometimes it comes straight away. So notice the loving thoughts, right, inside your mind. And ask Zadkiel for clarification when you receive them. Zadkiel's aura is deep indigo blue. When you wear the mineral lapis lazuli, you may feel a closer connection to Zadkiel. Hold this stone above your eyebrows to awaken your ear chakras and to clearly hear the voice of the divine. So looking forward to connecting with more of you. Reiki 2, we open up the other three clairs. So Reiki 1, clears your primary clair. And Reiki 2, we open up two more clairs. And Reiki 3, you get all four cylinders going, all your clairs opened and firing. So you need to go to my, um, you need to do Reiki 2 to get your ear chakras energetically healed balanced and cleared or just book your shabam and remind me in it also um with this soulmate reiki you're getting the divine love template 
um, of Christ consciousness. And in your shabams, you're getting um, a Holy Spirit fire baptism. So hopefully I'll connect with you soon. Thanks so much for connecting here. Know that the best is yet to come and this is all going to be worth it. And what you're sitting in right now will fertilize the most beautiful bloom, which is you. So you're the perfection that you seek. I love you, Taurus. Thanks for connecting here. Hopefully I'll connect with more of you in my Shabams and Soulmate Reikis. Otherwise, um, I'll be back before the full moon. Create, create, create. Hocus, pocus, focus. Abarakadabara. And the world is yours. Love you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.